Hello, 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 hola, 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 hello everybody. Okay, okay, sounds like everything is okay. Perfect, the camera is working. So my voice, I hope you can hear my voice correctly. So special. So tell me on the chat if I'm on live or not. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Perfect. Okay, so looks like everything is okay for that streaming. So it's ready to start. Okay, so uh, for today, uh, remember that I will try to talk full English for the people that lives out of Spain. So remember that I would like to do two different streamings, just single one in Spanish and the other one full English. So in that one, I'm going to talk full English or at least I'm going to try. This is as an example, an exercise for me. And I would like to show you some surprises in that one. The first one, I'm going to paint some miniatures or at least a miniature for Kilty in the box, the new one. So that kind of game or new game, the new version. So it looks really nice. And I would like to show you some models on that one. And then choose if you want to paint an orc or the other one, the Imperial Guard. <laughs> I know that there are a lot of fans for that, guys. Uh, they look really cool too. And maybe we can do something different. Maybe I can explain you some colors or ideas, or maybe something more crazy if I paint an orc, but I would like to see. So that one is the miniatures. So that one is the, the orc for sure. Everybody knows that. And the other one, that one that I have here, it's a surprise. Let me, <laughs> let me show you now uh, why I'm showing you this one. The first idea it's because I think it's really, really cool model. So that one is really interesting miniatures to paint, I think, in a tutorial. So maybe I would like to choose that model to make a huge tutorial to explain you all the crazy ideas that you told me on live. So on, on Instagram and other social media, I remember that some people told me like painting like a T-800 from Terminator a painting with crazy pattern, like pink camo, something like that. So crazy stuff, like a skin from a, I can remember who said something like a non-metallic on his skin too. So I think it was the, the idea from Terminator. And, and what more? Uh, I don't know, I, I heard a lot of crazy ideas and I would like to try to add them, all of them, on that miniature. So um, maybe I'm going to use that model for a tutorial instead of that streaming. So I'm going to use another orc if you want to paint an orc or uh, the other ones, the course of the Krieg. So, but I think I'm going to use that one in another tutorial that in the streaming. So I would like to show you just because I think it's really cool model and the other two I have them here. Okay, I prime it only on black. Sorry for that. Let me show you just without that model. Okay, I'm thinking to paint one of these two guys or something for them. They are really cool models as you see. So I think we can paint the, the weapon in a crazy stuff with crazy colors. You can tell me some colors or ideas that you would like to see on the weapons, for example, or the tonality of the skin or the mask for that one, or I don't know, something crazy. Just tell me because with the orc, maybe we can do something really cool and interesting. Just talking about colors, about painting, for sure we can do interesting ideas on all of them. But talking about crazy colors maybe with the orcs will be easier to integrate on that model so maybe choose one of these guys or that guys okay that guys they are really cool too <laughs> 
So we can paint that the other guys. Uh, for me, they look interesting. We can do something with black colors or other ideas or magic OSL, like an explosion came in from that side and the other one just playing with other temperatures. I'm doing something crazy with that one, for example. It's a nice idea. Or as I, ex as I said, the other orcs. So just tell me, what do you want to see the Krieg of, of orcs in that, in that streaming? And I would like to do more streams with that models. I don't know if only English, I think I will choose only English for that. So if you choose orc, will be full English, or if you choose the other one, will be full English for that streaming. Why? Because I would like to enjoy and I would like to paint relax it, not comparing with the previous streaming, talking in both languages that for me flipping both, it's so hard. Just talking in English, it's really hard for me, but both maybe it's too much, I think. I have to put all my effort and focusing on the language instead of painting. So I think just choosing one will be okay. And the other one that I would like to see, and for sure I'm going to do a tutorial with that one, it's that guy. <laughs> So that one is the, it's like a surprise. So I would like to do a crazy color theme for that guys. I was thinking a lot of that idea to represent. That one is just a, like a teaser. So I'm, going, I'm making a tutorial with that guy and I'm going to explain you how to make black colors and some crazy stuff or material for the cloak, like red inside of that, um, I don't know the name for that. It's like the cloak, maybe. I don't know. And then magic OSL or magic non-metallic or I don't know. A special weapon, like an energy weapon with red instead of blue or similar colors. So I'm thinking to make something darker in that way because I think it could work for that guys. So that one will be for tutorial too. This is the reason why I would like to show you just because I'm working on that. And that guy is exactly the same. I would like to do tutorials with both. So if you are fan from that guys, you will see a nice tutorial. And if you are really fan for that guys, you will see a really huge tutorial too. Sorry, I'm really fan from that new orcs in general for orcs, but that one is, I think as you say, badass. <laughs> it's really cool. Okay, so um, tell me what do you want to see? The orcs, so I don't, I don't care if you want to choose one or the other one or that guys just tell me on chat and we can discuss about the colors okay here i have the, the wet palette and everything so i have ready everything as you can see that's all the streams so we can talk about the colors and all the ideas. So I'm going to show you everything. And I'm going to show you how I work with copy bases. Okay. So that one is the other camera. And here I have the option to, to work with that camera and showing you that guard there. So tell me, what's the idea? I propose you one of these four guys. So it's better than other streams. So that one, maybe we can play with airbrush to explain magic lighting came in for one side and the other one with other colors and then painting in general, like, like a sketch to show you some ideas to, to play with OSLs that maybe is interesting or maybe not, it's depend of the time. Then we have the option to play with that guy just painting, I don't know, the helmet, the, the, the mask, the black color, uh, the weapon too, if you want. Something easy that we can do in few time, in two hours, something similar like that. No more than two hours because it's Saturday and today is really, really hot. So it's really hot day. So maybe I have to add water a lot of times on my wet palette. Maybe today is a dry palette. <laughs> so I'm living in Spain, but Maybe, maybe this is harder or stronger heat than other times. Uh, okay, all that guys, maybe with that one, 
we can play with the with the skin tone with that burned flesh that could be interesting maybe the helmet could be interesting too the weapon with the fire or with that flames i think could be interesting too or painting in a crazy way that weapon the flamer and that guy that guy just for the camera i was thinking about the face or the skin but the truth I think the weapon will be the most visual part for that guy and and I think we can do something really interesting and quick so I can explain you different materials on that and playing with different textures and adding free hands or I don't know for example painting that area that looks a bit flat with some free hands on that weapon then here playing with other textures on that metal or different material and then that areas with different colors too, for example, something crazy for that one. So I think could be interesting. So I'm going to check the um, I'm going to check the, the the chat to see what you say. In general terms, I'm seeing more people from Spain than other countries, <laughs> or at least using the chat. Okay, I'm going to check it. Please, if the people is from another country is talking English, because I'm, will, I would like to do streamings in both languages, but only if there are people from other countries. If 90% it's people from Spain, I'm going to talk Spanish. <laughs> okay, so in general terms, I'm seeing a lot of messages in Spanish. Someone say here, painting in different camo, animal camo. Lo del stonecast, no, no lo pillo. <laughs> I can, I can follow that joke from Spain. I don't know why they are saying. Maybe I have the first uh, <laughs> trolls on the chat. I don't know what they are saying about the stonecast. Okay, the flame. <laughs> okay, Ruben, your 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 name and last name. I don't know if you're from it's from US or you are living now in US. Sounds like Spanish name and last name too. Okay, so now I can understand perfectly why you said that the stormcast. Okay, so I didn't change the name on that. Let me see if I can change it. Let me see if I can change it. Now I think I changed it. Thank you for that because I didn't know why you were telling that this is Stormcast. <laughs> okay. Now, I think I wrote Kilting 40k box stream. So maybe it could look easier to recognize the models. <laughs> okay, so I think the discussion, we're discussing about uh, these two guys. So just tell me between these guys, which one is better for you, that guy or the other one, and then tell me if the skin, the face, the weapon, Something easy to, to paint on, on the camera, because if you want to paint inside of there, maybe it's impossible to show you on camera. So for that one, I said that that model is easier to, to watch that view, okay? And the other one, more or less the same, but in that case, I can move for more angles. So we can paint the face, the, the, the skin. I think that area could be really interesting, painting with the skin and then with that FX, like burn it on, on the skin or the weapon. I think all that ideas could fit with that guy. So this is the way I assemble it or put it together. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing 46 people and only 22 likes. Please 
hit the bottom <laughs> and share with all of all your friends okay so that guy perfect so i'm doing a really high effort talking in english and more people from spain is on the chat <laughs> so i don't know what do you think about that color steam i don't know if you like it i would like to do a tutorial with that guy with the um, with the black uh, the black color showing you how it works with black colors and then playing with red in different ways not just with the most saturated red i would play with the most saturation on that weapon but not there or on the other weapon so i think it would be interesting but i don't know if people want to see that color steam maybe it's better just copy the <laughs> the typical way that the the, the first uh, the the colors that they have on the box I was thinking a lot of hours just to do that. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so that guy. Uh, GW sent me that box completely free, just for fun, just because they want to send me. So I didn't say nothing. So this is the reason why I have the box. So and this is why I thought that could be interesting for all of you uh watching that model some live and painting some and this is the reason and this is why we like to do some tutorials with them okay i think you can see it really well with that zoom but if you need something else i do more more <sighs> something like that so i think we can see with a lot of detail everything for that model <laughs> okay so i'm going to choose that one because nobody say nothing about that one just few comments so i think that one is the the choice okay so i would like to ask you about colors so tell me if you have uh, ideas for the colors and tell me what do you want to see the the flamer that weapon the skin the helmet Uh, scary dragon if you are talking about the <laughs> the the veins in that case uh, it's just veins violet is fun the flamer <laughs> hmm Okay, I'm going to paint the flamer because I think it will be different and I'm going to choose some colors. <laughs> okay, I'm going to choose the colors. So if you want to see something for the flamer, just tell me, but I'm going to choose some crazy colors. I don't know if I'm going to add pink or just red, black, I don't know, let me see. So I'm going to back in a few seconds
Okay. So uh, I pick some colors. I have some of them. Uh, I pick, for example, all that things. I don't know if it uh, will work or not. I I'm going to use colors like that. For example, to the non-metallic. Something like that for the skin. This is just to give you examples because I don't know what do you want to see. Something for the skin, something with more yellow, more pale, something like that. So I'm going to give you some ideas uh, to see what do you want to see at the end. Because maybe with the colors, you will, you will be more interesting on something. And then that crazy color just will be like random, like comodines, like wild cards for the model. I don't know where I'm going to use them. And then all the things for the weapon. So tell me, after seeing that colors, what do you think will be better? Okay, I'm going to move that. Okay, after seeing that nobody will ask, <laughs> I'm going to start painting just the, the weapon. And then if you have questions, tell me and I would like to, to answer you and, and help you. Okay, I'm going to change the camera to show you everything here. And for example, I'm going to start painting with uh, dark red. Like that one born red so that one i'm going to start with that one maybe i have to move the camera one second sorry for that Okay, now, perfect. So to start painting, I recommend you always painting with something darker like that one and just adding colors on that. For example, I'm going to use that color for that area. And I'm going to use the previous color, the black, as part of the background. So I'm going to paint with stippling. Why I've decided to, um, to start painting in that way? This is because I would like to use the previous color to represent something more like weathering on that weapon. I don't want to paint that one like will be so new. So for that red, I would like to use more desaturated tonalities in some areas. So black will be like the primer for the, the, the color before to, to paint with red. This is why I can imagine that that color could fit. If you don't like, you can paint just 
in the typical way with the base coat with red and will be okay but that one i would like to paint it like all the so this is why I decided to start in that way. I'm going to add a bit of water, just a bit, because today is really hot here. Okay, I think just with that color, now it's enough. I'm going to paint with other one to paint all the colors on that weapon and then check if I like them or not. Because maybe after painting that one, I see that I don't like something. So will be, be um, in my opinion, will be better if we change the, um, the color once time I've painted all of them. If I paint, for example, that one from the beginning to the end, then I don't know if I'm doing something well talking about colors, so maybe I would have to change it. And maybe red will be the wrong on that color scheme. So I will need to repaint too much. This is why I recommend you paint all the colors before to paint uh, the next highlightings. Because just with a single one, it's so difficult to understand if you would like the color scheme. And then you will ask me why you think that is. Um, uh, what kind of colors it's better for that color scheme or how I can understand them if it works or not, all that questions. And always I answer the same. So first you have to paint all the colors before to paint the next highlightings. Because if not, it's so difficult. So just watching that red and the rest of the colors just black, it's like saying, okay, I don't know anything about that one. So then I'm going to paint the rest of that. For example, I'm going to use um, a kind of uh, gray for the metallic but in that case I'm going to use Russian green instead of uh, I'm going to use that that color Russian green instead of um, gray to paint metallic areas and then I'm going to use the same idea so I'm going to paint with the stippling and keeping the previous layer for example, if you see, I'm going to add a bit of water there in the whole mix. And I'm going to paint that one, that area. Now you will see more green, for sure it's green. But later, once time I add many layers, you will see like I'm losing the saturation for that color. Then I'm going to explain you why. I don't know if you can hear my uh, air conditioning because <laughs> today is really hot and it's uh, full working today. Whoop. Okay, so I'm going to use the same color for that area because I think it would be interesting and could fit. How? The same way. I'm going to draw some lines and just that.
that there is the truth is really hard because you need to paint with a thin point and as you see without worries then if we made mistakes we will fix it but not now because if you try to paint slower thing without a, a, a brush stroke like that really straight I think you will you will make more mistakes than than if you paint like that okay okay I'm going to paint all the focus all the focus of that painting on the front view to paint faster just that okay if someone want to see the back uh, it's the same so it's the same process so this is the reason why I think if I paint the, the front, I'm going to show you faster. Okay. Okay, I think I, I'm going to use that color for all the metallic areas and then with the next highlightings I'm going to change all of them but now I'm going to use that color for all of them why because with the first layer you don't have to be too much worried the most important is at the end they looks different just that trick to define that and looks like a non-metallic metal instead of paint in the center try to paint both edging So if you see, I'm not using water or glazing or stuff like that. For me, or the metal, for the way to paint or understand the painting, for me, it doesn't make sense painting with dirty water. Okay, I'm going to paint the top of that. Oh, sorry. Usually when I work with that zoom, it's uh, so small for me. So it's really easy to move out of the camera. Okay, I'm going to paint that area a bit better and that color is done. Okay. And that area too. Okay. Okay, so then next colors. Do -do 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 -do. Maybe I'm going to use exactly the same color for that tube. I'm going to use exactly the same color. Okay. How to paint that tube? Don't paint with a dry brush. Please, don't paint like that. It's like painting with a stippling, but in that case, with lines. OK, 
Okay, on the other side, I recommend you to paint too. I'm keeping the shadow in the center. Okay. Okay, I'm going to paint the rest of that. So that leather or wraps, then that uh, bottle, I don't know, for the gas, I think. And then I'm going to focus all attention on that area. Okay, for the fire and everything. I don't know well what color to use for the mm, bottle, but I'm thinking something crazy like that could fit. Yeah, okay. I'm going to use that color for the leather. This is a classic hull red. Let's for it. Okay, the way to paint leather like that one. First, you can use exactly the same process using the black um, background that we have. So just to follow in the same idea to explain you that we have different ways to paint. In that one, I would like to use the, the background that I have black in that case. So how I'm going to paint that leather. The idea will be painting the edging and then some texture in the in the center to add a uh, brown because if we don't add it, that texture at the end we will have like two edging on both sides and then black in the center so we have to add more black uh, brown the way to do it with texture again to represent something older and use the previous background So for example, something like that. Okay, this will be a nice first base coat for that. Remember that later we have the option to add inks to, to blend between that black and the rest of the brown. So we will have a darker brown if there we don't have uh, black. This is just a different way to paint using the previous uh, leather. I don't know what I said. <laughs> uh, this is just a, um, a different way to use the previous base coat, okay? So you don't have to work like that. But this is an example why the method that I am trying to offer you works perfectly because the process is 
always the same. So if you have a different background, like different red, the process to, with the, to paint the next layer with red will be that one. If you have different gray there, the process to repaint will be that one, always painting the 90% of the previous layer. So we will keep the previous layer only on the deepest shadows or areas where we want to increase the shadows. So like in that case on the leather. So once time you painted the both edging and then you add texture like that, you will see how it works just with one layer. You don't have to add many layers if you don't want. Just with a single one, you will done the process. Okay, that one is uh, a fake edge that I usually, well, usually you know, always add. I paint that fake edge, and it's really important, at least for me, to draw a black lining or dark lining between both uh, wraps. Okay, this is just with one layer, the first one. Okay. Okay, so next color. So you see, just with the first layer, we are drawing everything on that. And then we will start working with more layers to see the differences. But this is an example just to show that just with the single one, you have to draw everything. Okay, then next color, for example, uh, I thought to add that blue, but maybe it will be too light or too pale. So I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to use that new color, uh, Spectrum Blue. I think I never worked with that one. Looks like a Space Wolf, Spectrum Blue. Okay, I'm seeing uh, 56 uh, people watching that streaming. Thank you very much to stay on the other side in a day like today in August with this super heat, or <laughs> at least in Spain, it's really hot day, really, really hot. So it's, uh, I think, difficult to paint. Okay, for example, using exactly the same process, but then that in that one, I don't want to, um, I don't want to have uh, too much black on that color because it will be too pale. So if the contrast is huge, I recommend you remove 99% from the previous one or just paint with that color everywhere. For example, I'm going to keep it, uh, or I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to keep the black between the leather and, yeah, between, I think between both uh, different elements. So the rest will be like a base coat. So it will be something like that. Or, or better, I'm going to explain you the trick. Okay, this is what I was doing there. But what's the difference between that mm, awful brush strokes or the rest, then, rest of them? The contrast, okay? There we have a high contrast, but not higher like that one. Never we have to paint with black and white or pale flesh and rhinos height, for example. Will be too much. So we have to play with part of the gradient. So you will see now.
So this is that I'm doing now. For me, it's wrong, okay? But I would like to explain you the differences when you work in that way and how to fix it. Okay, so for example, now you can see that red or brown or other colors will work more or less using the previous background that I have, that black. So maybe if I use the, the, um, the correct color will work better for sure. But if you don't want to paint with the previous color or you want to run, sometimes we have the option to play with different backgrounds. For example, if you want to paint that orc with a lot of green colors or colors that could fit with green you can prime the whole model with a dark green and use the base coat for all the colors that you can imagine instead of using black like i did it you can repaint or reprime with another color in my opinion if you frame uh, you paint the primer with black and then or white and then you paint with a black uh, will be okay or dark brown or dark green something like something that could fit so I think for that one, dark green or dark brown could work really well instead of black. But in that case, when we have that color that more or less could fit, but not that one. Maybe the, the color is too high between that black and the other blue. If you see, it looks more like white than blue. This is because you don't have enough saturation in that color and near of something darker like that one looks completely desaturated. You can't see the white uh, the the blue color only white so how we can fix it just removing more the black around that Okay, if you see now, we keep only black on the deepest shadows. So it start to work a bit better and you can feel more from that blue. Not too much because the truth is too gray. That color is more like a space wall. Okay, I'm going to paint between that leather too. Give me one second. Okay, so I'm going to remove that color. No, I'm going to keep it there. Okay, then I'm going to paint with other color. Perfect. So once time we have uh, all that colors near, I'm going to move to that area. I think I'm going to use that. No, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to paint the fly. No, I'm going to paint first that area and then the flame. First, I'm going to paint that color 
with, uh, for example, something that could remind you gas. So something like blue could work, not, uh, not just yellow. Maybe we have the option to add a bit of yellow on the top, but I think with blue will work really well. I don't know if that color will work. Okay. I'm going to use ultramarine color. Uh, well, there you have it. Okay. Okay, we are 72 on that stream. So thank you very much because it's a real pleasure to see a lot of people uh, watching that stream in, in August. So maybe some of you are watching that stream on the beach or on the pool. <laughs> so again, thank you. Okay, if you see, I'm working without water. Okay, if I add just few of water, but not like lacing. Maybe I have to paint many times with that color because I don't have uh, too much opacity. And I would like to see correctly that blue. I'm going to paint both sides really quick. Okay. So if you see when you add many layers, you will see better the saturation and colors like that, that they don't have too much opacity. I'm blowing here a bit of uh, heat on that to dry and add a new one, a new layer. Okay. So more or less the, the, the main idea for that weapon will be something like that. So that you have, uh, I think we look really old and I'm going to add some free hands in areas and I'm going to explain you how I work with them and more things. So now we have to paint that area. What kind of colors? Uh, I was thinking like I was thinking in two ideas. The first one, something like burned, completely black or darker, like the smoke, something like that. And then maybe playing with that idea near of the fire, near of the flame, and then out of that play with more like copper, something like that. I think would work for that weapon. So for the copper, I'm going to choose a browns with oranges inside. And I'm going to do exactly the same that I did it. So I'm going to work in that way, using the black on the base coat. So maybe, maybe we have the option to play with the same brown that I use for the leather to show you again that starting with the same color could work sometimes. So maybe I'm going to work with that and then I'm going to add all the colors with more uh, oranges. So I'm showing you here when I dip my brush on the water. Okay, usually what I do is cleaning. Okay, I'm going to show you. Ooh. Pack. No. Pack. So usually I clean my brush always between every brush stroke or every layer that I'm going to add, better to say, not brush stroke, every layer. So I'm going to clean it perfectly. I have a, a snake here. Maybe it's an alien. Okay, so the idea is always clean it well, boom. Okay, and have an area here with enough humidity. Remember that trick. If you live in a place where you have a hot temperature, better. Like now, here. Okay, you add a lot of water on that kind of wet bed, that area with enough wet. Okay, 
So now the idea is deep, okay? Remove the excess of the wet and then load your brush. This is the correct mix, just that. Then go there and thin the point and ready to paint, just that. If someone say that you have to make mill uh, dilution or stuff like that, nah. With that is perfect. You don't have to be more worried about that time. So welcome to my copy bases, welcome to my world, welcome to my method. That everybody or a lot of people now is working with that one. Because works. It's so easy, right? So when something works, easy to copy. Always if you like my way to paint for sure, my, my style, if you don't like it, don't follow my instructions, don't follow my method. Okay, so I'm painting. Let me see if I can do more zoom. This is this is something that maybe is too much, right? For a 20 millimeters, you see. <laughs> maybe some people is watching that and think that this is so huge. It's like, nah, so easy. This is so big, so everybody can do it. Remember, the edging at the first time. I'm painting too fast, okay, the edging, but I recommend you paint like I did it there, for example, really thin. For me, that one is too thick, okay? This is like a highway. Okay, so now, once time we have something like that, Again, we are using the previous layer, so it's too dark, everything. Maybe there, near the flames, we can keep it because we can create a dark um, a frame around that uh, OSL. So I think it could work because we can increase the contrast from that flames, comparing the fire and comparing with that black color that we have there. So this is like a darker frame instead of adding a lot of brown. So maybe it could work, but the rest of that, I think I have to add color because everything with black maybe will be boring. How, again, with the stippling, texture, scratches, something like that. For example, that kind of issues that I've painted, that mistake, I'm going to use to add scratching. Okay, something like that. And then if you want to keep a lot of black there, but you don't want to, to have all that black, for example, I recommend you now make a dilution like a 50%, okay, for this is the reason why I load my brush. Move here and add a bit of paint. And then with that dilution, do exactly the same, but not in the same places. Sometimes on the same place where you painted and others where you didn't. With that, you can see that you have like a gradient really quick, like you see different browns, black, just playing with exactly the same color. So with that uh, effect or that uh, dilution, 50% and 50, so easy to remember it, we will do exactly the same there. So it's really important to make noises like that, when you are touching and making a scratching, okay? So this is the key. Perfect. Okay. So now, next layer, I'm going to add the color for the fire or that flames. And I'm going to compare the contrast that I have there with the rest of that. Because maybe I'm going to add a non metallic effect here and I would like to see the balance the value between that area and the other one. 
I hope surprise you with that streaming, with that uh, quality, with that Zoom and showing you and teaching you everything. Uh, again, thank you very much for all the people that is watching that. I would like to see a lot of likes and sharing with a lot of friends to see in the future more streams like that, or I hope better with better quality and better English. <laughs> Okay, so the color for the flames, let me test. Do, 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 do. For example, I'm going to use something that could be interesting and maybe could fit. Let me see if I have a. Da, 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 da. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, because I don't want to paint with white, something that I recommend you to increase the contrast, increase the saturation. Okay, when you paint with uh, white, uh, then once time you paint the next colors, you will see higher contrast. Because instead of having black, you will see white on the background, so you will see more saturation or more light inside of the colors. But in that case, I'm going to use that uh, light brown that I think will fit for that process. Why? Because I'm going to cover faster than with white. Maybe with white I need to add many layers and that color could work um, with the color palette, could work with, um, with the rest of the colors that I'm using. So I have a lot of black. So I think with that kind of ochre, could work. So I use that color. I'm going to use that color instead of white for the background, okay? So this is my new base coat to work. <laughs> Let me see if I'm going to remove all the black or I'm going to keep it in some places. Let me see. I'm testing and thinking if that black could work in some peaks. So maybe adding a bit of black there could work. So there near of the weapon, I'm going to add a lot of white or yellow, but maybe out, I have the option to add a bit of black. Just again, to reinforce the, the frame that I'm making with that black or dark color there and there. So to keep more highlighting on the center.
maybe next time for that kind of moments, uh, <laughs> I have to add music or something similar <laughs> because I'm really focused on my model. I'm going to use exactly the same color to reinforce that non-metallic here inside. So that kind of edging, it's what I love, okay? That kind of really, really thin edging. You see, you have to paint with painting, not without color. So you have to keep always color on your brush. So if you feel that it start to be uh, dry, just clean it again, remove the excess of the drying painting. And then once time is ready, load again and continue working. But don't paint with dirty water, please. Glazing is just to the end, not now. So now I'm going to blend a bit, uh, as I explained you, with a 50%. And I'm going to blend from that area to the area where I have painted, like that. And this is how to blend and make glazing really easy. Okay, with the same color, I'm going to make some touches here. Okay making like that you see Okay. One second. Okay, I was moving a bit more from the black color. So now it's time to paint the rest of the colors. So now more or less the the sketch of that weapon it's ready okay so now we have uh, ready just with a single layer a single color i think more or less ready that weapon 
So now it's time to decide if we like or not the color that we added on that uh, model, okay, or on that weapon in that case. So we have to check if that blue works for you, if that orange or ochre works for you as a base coat. Remember that now we have like the base coats or first layer, okay? So in that case, it's the first layer, for, but for me it's like, it's like the, the base coat because I'm using the, the previous layer just to represent something older with scratches, damage, something like that. But in general terms, it's like my base coat. So now I'm going to see if that the red works there, if that blue there, the ochre there, and then if I like to have a lot of white under that uh, red, for example. For me it works, the reason is because I would like to move the higher contrast in the center of that steam. So that area for me, it's really important. So this is why I move there that color instead of other places, because then I'm going to have a lot of fire there. But if you see, I was telling you that I'm going to add a lot of black outside and keep the fire inside. Why? To move the tension in the center of the steam always, not to the peak or the top. This is that always, uh, it was the, the typical way to paint on the peak or the edge, always the highest highlighting. And not always you have to do that. Sometimes yes, it's depending on the material, but not always. Sometimes you have the option to add it and sometimes not. So this is the reason why I like to talk about that. Because in general, always when we are painting, we try to add the highest highlighting to the edging. So in that case, there on the peak of that. My opinion, it's completely wrong. In that cases, I'm going to move to the center of the steam because I'm making a, a darker frame on that area, on that area, darker frame. And then if I add something darker over there, I'm going to keep more attention and more higher, more highlighting, more contrast there in the center. This is the reason. And the other one, it's because keeping that light in there, I'm going to move the attention in that area, where is the face. So I have to paint the face. I'm going to use the same technique, using a lot of saturation or high or, or lighter colors there instead of black for example uh, so now the next highlightings i'm going to continue painting in general but now if i want i can continue working only on the red or only on the non-metallic my opinion i'm going to paint first that area and maybe flames and then the non-metallic the reason is because if you play with the non-metallic first and you remove or you lose the, the lighting for the rest of the elements, maybe the non-metallic will be the most important area on that flamer. And in my opinion, should be in that area, the most important, okay? But in general, I think we'll have to paint everything. Okay. So 89 people now watching that streaming. Thank you very much again. So I'm seeing that it's only 64 likes. Please press the button. 90 people now watching that. Please like the button. Like. Send me likes and put comments and share with your friends because I'm on live. Live on that kind of streaming. <laughs> okay, next. Uh, I'm going to add red. So I'm seeing 64 likes and now 80. So this is why <laughs> why someone removed the like. I'm seeing 79, 81. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to paint the next color. For example, uh, I'm going to play with red. I'm going to play with uh, that vermilion. Okay, vermilion red and uh, that red this one that color is maybe one of my favorite for that range looks really interesting really saturated really i think it's really well controlled so i like it i'm going to add both so first vermilion i'm going to add vermilion here Boop. okay and then i'm going to add uh, that one the um, that red here to so that one is the color so you can see ah maybe it's my now you can see easy so there 
the other one is Vermillion and the other one is Dead Red. So I'm going to play first with that one and then if I need, I'm going to mix both or just that one for the highest highlighting, okay? Wapa. Okay, I will see if we can get a hundred people on that stream. 95 I'm seeing now. So turn on your <laughs> your mobiles, ta tablets, PCs, laptops, all that together watching that streaming. The way to do it, the same that we did it previously. Okay. But in that one, I would like to play like in the ceiling there around that. So I'm going to keep the lighting more or less there in the center. And then I'm going to use the edging to get higher contrast. So the opacity is really important. Sometimes it's not enough and I have to add many layers. This is why I don't like to paint with glazing because if just with the, the color from the boat can't cover well, can you imagine adding 80% of water? It's uh, a waste of time. Okay. Okay, can you see now the red color? So it doesn't look like uh, we have a lot of black under that as a base coat, right? I'm going to add a bit of scratching here. Tac, 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 tac. Sorry if I'm not talking uh, in that moment because I'm really focused on my miniature. This is how I like to play with a stippling. Stippling for me doesn't make make a random stippling with any sense. So always you have to to do something for any reason. So if you see in mine, we look like scratching, disgusting, so like weathering always adding with my brush okay so i don't paint like okay i'm going to paint here and just that so i always think why i'm painting so my idea was trying to represent something other in that case okay perfect 
Uh, so now I'm going to add another layer with just um, the other red. Let me paint here. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Perfect. So now another highlighting. Again, just pure color. Pa! Like that. I'm going to add just a bit of water because today it's 41 Celsius here. So it's something crazy. I think my air conditioning is working a lot and doing nothing. So <laughs> I'm sweating a lot. What I like to play now with that color to represent something desaturated to represent better effect with older. Okay, you see now the light, the effect. Okay. You can see really well how it looks. I'm going to add a diluted red, like 50%, as I explained you, to add the same effect that in the other white, and the other way to represent better gradient here. Perfect. So now after that, I'm going to do exactly the same on the leather. For that, for the leather, I'm thinking to play with something with more green inside, like a brown with green to have better contrast with red. For example, if you see that color, that middle stone, it's like a brown or green that I think would work really well for our leather. So I'm going to use that one. Why? Because we'll be uh, not exactly the complementary color, but we look like that. And we'll have better contrast, you see, between. Uh, up, up, pop. So if you see, between red and that color, doesn't look like a perfect green, but looks really, really high contrast comparing with both. And this is why I decided to play with that color instead of, again, browns with red. If I'm working with that, I have to play with the value always. If I play with the complementary colors or colors that they have more green inside, you don't have to play exactly with green like that. So I'm playing with that color for the gray because it could work really well. In that case, because I decide to play with grays with green inside to represent higher contrast with that one. So with that red and the other ochre, in that case, I'm going to use that kind of greens inside of that uh, brown to get this double contrast instead of to play only with the value. Then if we need, we have the option to add the value. No, not that one, not that one camera, no! Oh, that one.
Okay. We will do exactly the same that we did, but in smaller places. Okay. You start to see the um, the leather how it looks starting with with the exactly the same color that I use in other color in other areas, but now we look better and different. Okay, you see how thin are the brush strokes? They are really, really thin. So you can compare with my brush, with my finger, okay? So the key, it's really thin with a high contrast, as thin as possible with a higher contrast too. Okay, once time we have something like that, I'm going to I'm going to add another layer now to have the final highlighting on that. Okay. You see how much layers you add, better contrast you will have and more defined, interesting artworks, more to watch on that. So you see, I started with something colder and then I'm painting with something warmer. Or if you want to see in the other way, I started with reds at the beginning on that leather and now I'm painting with greens. Something crazy, right? I'm not using white. Why Sergio is not using white for all the mixes? Why I have to add highlighting with white? So the remember that you can play with black and white always, but if you play with color and more saturated, in my opinion, will look better, more interesting. If you have to play something uh, like in the night or something like that, that you would say, but Sergio, you have to paint the miniature in the night. You have to play with black and then gray tonalities. And I'm going to say that in my opinion, if you change that gray and black for really deep blue colors, violets and greens, you will have a really interesting miniature in the night. You will represent correctly the environment of the night and then playing with color. And for sure, in that color, you can play with saturated or desaturated. In that way, will be up to you. My opinion, maybe in the night, I want to play with the most saturated colors, but for sure will be saturated more than you have on mine. This is completely fake, but the truth in my mind, if you play with saturation, will look more interesting and access accessible 
for the people than if you are painting just with black and grays. That could look more realistic, but for me, it will look so boring. Boring. Okay, so I'm going to paint the next highlighting on that leather, and I'm going to play with. For example, I'm going to use that vampiric flesh, okay, to have uh, something pale or lighter, and I'm going to mix with the other green. I hope this is really helpful for everybody and I hope you can enjoy watching that stream and if you want to see more tutorials remember we are working on Patreon doing my best or our best so Vanessa and me are working really hard to offer in H1 better quality and better knowledge and this is why we like to share the, the streams with everybody to just to show you what we are doing okay I think with that quality, with that size, you can see every brushstroke on your on your screen. If you're watching that uh, stream on 50 inches on your TV, I think it will be amazing. So really huge. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add the final brights on that. <laughs> So if you see, I'm going to paint only the final brights in just in a single point. I'm going to add more from that color, not the other one, to have higher contrast. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to blend just a bit. It's something that I don't like to do too much with that acrylic. I will use the inks at the end, but I would like to offer you better quality if I can. Okay. In just that. Okay, here you have the, the example about the, the rubs, that leather and the red color, okay, you see? So we started with black, remember that? So that's, it looks like we started with black. So what happened here? So what's the trick? What happened when people say that you have to choose correctly the base coats for your model? And then I'm showing you that just with pure black, I can show you really nice quality. So, do, 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 do. Okay. Bam. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to continue painting the um, the rest of the metallic. Okay, I'm going to paint the, the non-metallic in that case. I'm going to paint or I can paint the freehand. Let me I'm going to explain you or I'm going to add some freehand on on that red because I think it could 
work really well, adding some free hands, and I'm going to do something really easy. I'm going to add some triangles or spirals or squares, something like that, just to add something else. Or maybe numbers, maybe I can add some numbers in just that. Okay, I'm going to add some triangles there on the red because I think we'll add something really interesting and so easy to add them. And for that, I'm going to add, for example, uh, okay, that color that I used previously, that blue, I think could work really well. And I'm going to mix with that brown. Why? To remove a bit the, um, the blue effect, the blue tonality, and have something more gray, like ne neutral gray. And will work perfectly for, for that. Okay. Okay, I would like to do something like older too, here. Not completely perfect, the, the triangles. I'm painting, I'm painting free hands everywhere, always where I can. I'm going to try to paint free hands. Well, I'm going to add more white inside of them because we look better because it's so tiny and if I have that red inside, we look like a mistake, I think. And now is when I show you completely finish the whole model. Example, something like that, I think would fit really well. And it's easy to add that kind of free hands. Okay, so that kind of triangles. Okay, like that. Something like that. So I think fit really well, so easy. Everybody can do that. Maybe I have to paint a flames instead of uh, triangles. No, I, I thought not. So I was thinking that <laughs> now, to paint in like flames instead of triangles, but I think 
good work. More minimalist flames. Okay, we have 100 likes and only 21 people. We we'll try to get 100 people. Just turn on your mobiles, your laptop, all that together, <laughs> connected on that streaming. Uh, okay, next. Um, I'm going to paint the metallic there. I'm going to continue painting that area to show you better and finish details. And for example, that element I think looks awful, so we'll have to change it and add more information there. So I'm going to work on, on that. I'm going to use a light flesh, for example, to, to break again the, the rules or not. Or I'm going to use green is white. I'm going to use green is white. I'm going to use green is white. Okay. Uh, what? I'm going to use green is white. Okay. will work perfectly as a white color. But in that case, I'm going to use not exactly a complementary color, but mm, the previous one has blue or, and, and that one has more green and yellow. So I'm going to get better contrast, I think. Remember that in that case, if you use pure white, it will work, I think. But in my opinion, if you play with a bit of color, you will have double contrast, always with the color and then with the value. Okay, for example, you see, you can feel a bit uh, the tonality for that green, right? Just a bit, but uh, it's there. So it looks like a saturated lighting or like more inten interesting, not just white. So after that, I'm going to blend a bit that bright that I've painted in the center. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to blend a bit. So adding water, adding color, 50% from both, and blending from outside to inside. Like that. Pop, 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 pop. And then ta, 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 ta. Remember that we are painting everything with the brass, nothing with the airbrush. So blending with the brass and everything painted with the brass. So quick, so fast, and so good. That one is another example, or this one is another example that you can paint everything on your models with your brass. So airbrush is just to blend, adding shades or stuff like that. Can you imagine painting everything of that with the airbrush? It's impossible, just that. So you can paint the base coat and just that. So a base coat in general with a single color. If you have to add the highlighting, mid-tones and shadows for everywhere, poof, will be so hard. And then painting outlinings everywhere. Ah, so boring. Okay, pop. Now that kind of uh, gas um, tank, I think looks more interesting. Too. 
okay? You see the difference? So I've painted the previous layer with a color that doesn't fit, remember that. So I've painted with a color that looks like white <laughs> over black. So it looks awful, right? But now once I've painted the next lighting, doesn't look so bad. So later I'm going to add some, I'm going to, I'm going to add now. I'm going to add some rust and tonalities and you will see how it will be amazing. Or I hope that. I'm thinking about oranges, for example. I'm going to add a bit of rust there. For example, oranges and then a bit of uh, a bit of aqua, aqua, blue green, blue green. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'm going to play with these two colors, blue green and deep orange. Why? Because I'm going to add rust with both. I'm going to add here oranges and there blue green. So easy, on the areas where I have red, I'm going to use not the complementary color, but more or less the complementary color. And on the other area, I'm going to use oranges. So starting with oranges, I'm going to add a dilution, like 50%. If you want to add less color, do it, okay? So don't worry, because now we will test. Where I'm going to add? On areas where I have a lot of black, because I don't like it, so I'm going to add there. For example, here. I'm going to test with that glazing and there. Once time you see if you like or not, if you like, you will add more layers. If not, just stop there. Okay, focus, focus. Okay, you see? Now black start to work a bit better. Why? Because I added another color to connect between black and white. Really easy, as you see. So with green, I'm going to do exactly the same. Blue like that. Ba, 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 ba. For example, there that I have another detail that I didn't paint it. Okay, perfect. Ha! 
What do you think now? How much detail you add or more interesting ideas you will add on your model, better will look, more interesting or more information you will see on, on your project. So if you paint just with a perfect gradient with airbrush, maybe it will be so boring with, because you will see like, ah, well done. Yeah, it's a nice blending. Yeah, you did it with airbrush, right? So it's perfect, nice, good job. But now if you add more ideas like freehand, texture, scratching, uh, I don't know, different textures, like some areas glossy, some areas matte, everything that you will add, you will get better result. So remember that I was painting from black. So you see? So remember that I was I was painting only there. Can you imagine watching the whole orc on the stream? Everything, the skin, the burned flesh, the mask every hand, every detail, every muscle, every vein. So can you mind that on streaming? Would be fantastic. So excited for that moment. <laughs> so tell me in the comments if you want to see more streamings like that with that org on English or at least with my own English. <laughs> if you want to see everything like that, because this is fantastic with a lot of zoom. I think the, the, the zoom, it's so nice, right? So you can see every detail. So remember that this is this is my finger and this is every brush stroke that I've painted with copy bases with my own method that more and more people is starting to use because works really well. And here you have the, the example. So you can see my miniatures, you can see the quality. And if you like my style, the way I paint, remember, this is how I work. So I'm not using glazing or stuff like that. If I want to use, I want to use at the end when the 99% of the model is done. In that case, when the 99% of that area is done, is ready. So after that, I can continue painting all that stuff. For example, I'm going to paint the, the non-metallic. Okay, I think uh, just that tube, I'm going to add something really shiny, like, um, um, like steel or something similar like steel, okay? Because in that area, maybe I'm going to add different ideas for the non-metallic. So I'm going to paint the, the tube in the center. Remember that if you didn't like and share with your friends, you are ready to do it. So always every comment, every like is welcome. Remember that I'm here just to enjoy, to have fun. So I hope you are enjoying learning and having fun with my stream. Sorry if I can talk every moment, every moment in that stream because it's impossible i have to be focused on my miniature because if not i can't paint i can't <laughs> okay so i'm going to paint the rest of that for example uh, i said that i use uh, russian green for that so instead of continue playing with russian green and because i said that i would like to have something more shiny and like steel maybe i'm going to use like english gray something like more gray and then maybe more like um, maybe I'm going to use the greenish white too and then pure white I think or not no 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 white gray white gray no 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 but more or less I think what I want to do I I I'm I got it I'm going to add something craziest I'm going to add, perfect. I'm going to add that, that idea. So that one is my base coat. My base coat, remember that is black, okay? But this one is the, the first layer that I'm going to paint, um, how to say? Uh, I'm going to add the texture and the first layers and blah, 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 blah. So the color will be like that, bam, bam. Then I'm going to use something more neutral because I would like to have something more like gray. And then I'm going to use that crazy color that maybe looks like white. This is the reason why I don't want to show you the, the names of the colors, because if you see the name, maybe you will say, ah, I know what color has inside, I know, but no, everybody thinks that this is white and it's not white, it's pink. That light flesh, 
will be perfect. At least, I don't know in the camera if it looks more like pink or not, but in my, in, in my form, in real life, looks more like pink than other colors. So it's not like that, like that pink, but now you see perfect or better the, the color, right? Doesn't look like pure white now comparing with the other one. So I'm going to use that one or maybe that one too. So I'm going to test if that one is perfect too, this pastel pink, pastel pink. That one is a color that I like it and I like the color too. I like the name and the color. Pa -pa, pa -pa, pa. Okay, so I'm going to add the, the colors, for example, there on that area. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, the English gray, I'm going to show you there. English gray. Maybe I can show you with that camera. English gray. I'm going to add just a bit. Because if I don't add gray, maybe more than one will say, hey, Sergio, you are not working with gray, so never will look like a non-metallic metal. I'll try, I'll try. Uh, Russian green, the first one is the same like that. So I'm going to use the, the, the previous one, that one. Hello from Spain to Mexico and from Cuba. I think someone say hello from Cuba uh, previously too. So in that stream, I will die to talk all the, always in or full English. <laughs> I'm going to do next stream in Spanish. So that one for people out of Spain that they don't know Spanish. For sure, everybody can see all the streams for sure. But I understand that sometimes if I like to to talk more of the theory in your language or a language that more or less you can understand, <laughs> because my English, I don't know if you can understand it well. <laughs> I hope will be enough for everybody. Wow, there are a lot of people from Uruguay, Colombia, for South of America. Wow, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Whoop. No, not that one. That one. Remember, share the stream with all the people that you know. Because how much people will join, better streams I will do. This is green I used at the beginning. I'm going to add there. Plus, a bit from that color. And I'm going to add a bit of water because that one is so dried. Okay, so that's the moment, the truth, the, the, the best moment ever, the non-metallic metal. Are you ready for that moment? I think I have to add more contrast. I'm going to add more from that gray. And then a bit of pink tink. You see the definition, always the edge highlighting and the outlinings, always, everywhere. Dun, dun, dun. 
I'm going to add another break here. There. Okay, focus. Maybe focusing the, the handle. Okay. I'm going to use exactly the same color for that area that looks so similar. Okay, so now I'm going to add another um, uh, layer. In that case, I'm going to add more pink inside of the previous mix. So I'm going to use pink, that one. Okay, bah, a la bestia. <laughs> so crazy. I'm going to explain in Spanish too. <laughs> So you see that I'm not using glazing. Everything is with my own methods, with thick layers. You won't destroy your models or crazy stuff that people say. Don't worry for that. I'm going to add some spots here in the center. Okay, and with that color, I'm going to blend a bit. Okay, so I'm going to add the mix, as I explained you, a bit of water, 50 50, and I'm going to do exactly the same to blend from outside to inside. Okay, from outside of that color to inside, to the center of the, the glaze or, or the, the base coat that I painted now.
Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to add another layer, in that case with more pink. Again, more pink. Master pink. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to add the final touches with um, the color that I said was the white gray, or which one was? Uh, ah no, light flesh. Okay, I'm going to use light flesh, just pure light flesh, to add the final brights for that non-metallic. Okay, and then if you want to blend a bit, remember that my idea is not blend too much, but if you want to blend, again, 50% dilution. So there you have the, the non-metallic that I've painted. Okay, remember the size, it's really tiny. If you want more um, shiny, we have to add another bright under that, okay? For example, on top or under. In my opinion, if you add under, it will look better because we look sunnier, okay? But if you want to add on the top, we have the option to add it. For example, I'm going to add both, okay? In that case, never with the same highlighting that I've painted in the center. From some uh, layers, previous layer. In that case, I'm going to add the previous layers like glazing because I don't want to make another mix uh, with the other color. So I'm going to add some glazing and just that. Won't cover really well, so it will work. Maybe I'm going to add more color because this is not like painting. Okay, and then under that, in the same.
okay now you can see that looks brighter okay that more like non-metallic this is the key sometimes painting under the like in the shadows usually if you add a light on the shadows will look sunnier uh, brighter sorry <laughs> because you are breaking the rules so you are creating like a reflection under that okay and we look like that more like steel something like that So you see perfectly. Now, for example, I'm going to add a bit of rust in some areas because it's an orc. So for me, it doesn't make sense to have the, the weapon really clean. And I'm going to add just a bit of orange uh, on the areas where I have black. So near of the outlining, I'm going to add a glaze for that. For example, I'm going to add there. just a bit there and there maybe there I'm going to add more I'm going to add more with uh, more like that I think mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to add on the top of that just a bit too, and just that, like that. Okay, no more. Okay, so there you have the beginning of that weapon. Okay, so then I'm going to, I, I would like to do another stream just to finish the rest of the weapon and show you how works the flame, the OSLs and more stuff. Okay, but I think here you have a really nice example about that, uh, that weapon, that quality, that uh, non-metallics, the layering, the the colors the way i work it so everything so again so nothing else to say i'm going to show you here the the model at the end so thank you very much to to watch that streaming i hope you have enjoyed watching that one for me it was a real pleasure showing you everything on on that stream i hope it was fun i hope you learned a lot Sorry if you're from Spain or you know Spanish. In next stream, I'm going to talk full Spanish. And that one for, was for people that they want to learn in a language that they can understand more or less. I said can, can understand more or less for my English. Sorry if I didn't say correctly some words. I hope you can understand it. Understand it. And there you have a perfect example about that huge orc and that huge weapon. So remember that this is really tiny. I saw you with a huge quality. So remember, this is my finger. And again, thank you very much to stay on the other side this day, like August, uh, that this is so warm or so hot. In Spain, it's like 43 or 41 Celsius. It's crazy. It's too much, I think. So, and you know, and you see, sorry, you can see how it works with the copy bases and everything. And again, Thank you very much and see you on the next stream. Remember, just leave me a comment if you want to see in the future more ideas for a stream, more, I don't know, colors, miniatures, details, something. Just tell me on the comments. Tell me if you want to see something like color theory or something like that. And I hope to see you in the next streaming. Remember, share with all your friends. I hope they will like that stream today to do. 
and subscribe to the channel and see you. Remember that I have all my knowledge on my Patreon channel that I'm working with my girlfriend, Vanessa. She's working really hard to do the best video editing that we can do and with the best quality that we can offer. About knowledge, you know. So you can see a lot of knowledge here and I'm going to answer all the questions and doubts or mistakes that you will usually do. So for that, don't worry. I will have to explain better in English but this is my level now. I will continue trying to improve, to share better and better with everybody. My idea is to share my knowledge around the world. So this is what I like to do. This is my goal and this is what I'm trying to do. This is where I'm aiming. So I hope my accuracy will be well. So see you in the next stream and I hope you have a nice weekend and see you. Bye bye.